Okay, and for our next uh, tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add sound to our game. Now, Python, for I, I don't know why, has no easy way to play sounds. There are a number of third-party modules that you can import uh, that will play sound. Sorry, but it's uh, yeah, it gets a bit complicated uh, installing modules and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to use a built-in function on Mac OS X, uh, a system call, and it also works in Linux with a little bit of change. I'm sorry, I don't know how to do this on Windows. I don't use Windows, and honestly, I don't have the time. I don't care to learn. Uh, so uh, I personally use Linux at home, and for work here, I use uh, Mac OS X. So in our folder, I have downloaded two files, laser.wave and explosion.wave. I would not use mp3s. They might work. They might not, uh, particularly on Linux. Um, so I have a couple files. So if I click that, hopefully it'll play. Let's try it again. Okay. Nope. We don't need to hear cake. Um, okay. So let's, uh, trust me, it's an explosion sound and we have a laser sound. So Again, in the same folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the os.system method. So when we, so we have a couple different places we could put this. So one would be when I fire my weapon. Okay. So that's in that function. Where is that at? Fire bullet. So when I fire the bullet, if the, oops, if the bullet state is ready. I'm going to play the sound. So it's os.system af play. And th again, this is Mac only, laser.wave. You need to add an ampersand at the end, otherwise, it will pause the program while the sound plays. So if I run this in terminal, so. Okay, so every time I plays the sound in the background, it's pretty cool. Um, just to test this, if I don't have the ampersand and I run it, notice how the program pauses while the sound plays. Okay, we don't want that to happen. So make sure the ampersand is at the end. So the next thing we want to do is if the enemy collides with a bullet. Uh, where is that? So if there's a collision, so I usually like to play the sound first. So os.system, and it's af play explosion dot wave. Okay, so let's try that out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got a nice little explosion sound. So it's starting to yeah, it's starting to feel like a real game now. We got some graphics, we got some sounds, etc., etc. We got scoring. It's all that all that goodness. Now we could also add this, you know, if there's a, a collision with the enemy and the player, we could just copy that. Uh, we don't need to test that today, but um, again, we could just throw that in at the end. So if the player collides with the enemy. Play the explosion. You might want to, you know, pick a different sound for that just to uh, differentiate it a bit. Uh, now, as I mentioned at the top here, uh, I said this is for Mac and Linux. It's slightly different on Linux. And again, you know, Linux there are a lot of different versions of it, uh, different flavors of Linux. So this may or may not work. But on Mac, the command is AF play. So if this were Linux, you would just use A play. Again, okay, there's no guarantee, but uh, it works on my system at home. Uh, again, for Windows, I'm sorry, I just I just don't know. Uh, maybe you can check, uh, you know, check on the you know, do a Google search and find out how to do that. Uh, but it seems like a lot of these suggestions you have to import some third-party module, uh, which you know gives you a lot more control and is probably more consistent. But to keep it simple for beginners, we just want to try to kind of use what we have built in. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial number ten. Good luck.